Um, so a couple, a couple years ago now, jeez, I wrote a musical with my friend Josh Kagan. Uh, thank you. For Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Um, it's about a young lady named Molly, who plays the ukulele. Hey. Because you're right, but you know, uh, who was born on Thanksgiving and is trying to host a Thanksgiving special, and all her well-meaning friends show up. Uh, thinking it's a Christmas special, sensibly, because it's a holiday show in the middle of November. So why not? Um, and Your so hair wrote, looks great! Thank you! Your hair looks great, too. <laughs> thank you. Whoever said that. <laughs> Everyone turn to your neighbor right now and tell them that their hair looks great. <laughs> okay, so we got that all out of our system. We're not going to tell me that my hair looks great anymore. Okay, good. So... There's a lot, the sort of tough thing about writing a musical with songs in the styles of all your friends is there's a whole story that the songs service that you kind of can't pull out of, you can't pull them out of context so much um, without like explaining, so here's the double clicks, they're a sister band from Portland and I wrote them a song about how they're sisters, anyway, like, it, nobody has time for that. Um, but this song I feel holds it pretty well out of context. Um, it is about pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> Because again, as a white lady, I have to write the song about pumpkin spice lattes at some point, I think. Maybe not. Um, but, but I am pro, I'm team Thanksgiving myself, and I see pumpkin spice lattes versus the other seasonal Starbucks lattes as the proxy war between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And so when peppermint and eggnog and gingerbread edge out pumpkin spice, I see that as the beginning of Christmas being a dick to other holidays. <laughs> and it bums me out. So I wrote uh, this song. It's called the Pumpkin Spice Lament. <laughs> Rest in peace, Pumpkin Spice. Another month of your company sure would have been nice. But you've gone underground, and eggnogs come around again. It seems that everybody knows that this is just the way that November goes. I think it's rather rude. Pumpkin's a Thanksgiving food. Why can't they coexist? And why can't the seasons overlap? Pumpkin, peppermint, and nug could be the three wise men of flavors. So everybody wins, and I get an extra month to savor. Normal folks. Don't think twice, but the time we have together, it just won't suffice. And there is no excuse, it's not like there's no pumpkin juice. <laughs> why must you go away, and why doesn't Starbucks understand? After Halloween is over, I can tell your star is dimming. I have to just accept that you're the McRib. But for women. <laughs> but now we're here. What a treat. And the scarcity might be what makes you taste so sweet. But I have to face the facts. You taste like scented candle wax. <laughs> songs about very specific things like the Lincoln assassination or pumpkin spice lattes, which is that your Twitter feed becomes a Google Alerts for any news related to that thing. <laughs> so as soon as pumpkin spice lattes were on sale, everyone on Twitter told me about it. It was fantastic. <laughs> I'm even Lincoln, but I appreciate the sentiment. 